Hey, so what is going on everyone? Got a video here to share with all of you on how you can transfer your data and everything from your current iPhone or an old iPhone over to a new iPhone. For this tutorial, on the left side here, I'm using my current device, which is the iPhone 11 Pro Max, and I'm going to transfer all of this over to my new iPhone 12 Pro Max, which is on the right side here. So when I'm done, they should look identical, the home screen and all. If your new phone that you got looks like this phone right now, and you're not at the hello screen, but you would really like to do this video, what you need to do is factory reset your new phone, which means on your new phone, you would have to go into your settings and you would have to go to general, and then you would have to scroll all the way down to where it says reset. And you'd have to erase all content and settings on your new phone in order to get to the hello screen right here so you can do this video. So in order to do this, I'm going to use a method called device to device migration. And this is going to work quickly for some of you, but some of you may be in a different situation. So I will try and walk through all this quickly, but slow enough that you can follow along. So the first thing you want to make sure of is that you have full battery power. If you need to plug your device in to charge them up while you're doing this, that's fine. We're going to use Bluetooth to do this transfer. It does not delete anything off of this device. So don't be afraid to move forward and try this video because you can always start over. Go ahead and go into your settings on your old device and you want to go to your iCloud account. And it's always good to try and do a backup. If you can't do a backup, we can get around that. Go ahead and choose iCloud and then you want to scroll down a little bit until where you see iCloud backup. Now what you want to do is go ahead and press backup. If you can't do that, that's fine because when we do copy everything over and we do this transfer, it's going to move over these videos and pictures and stuff like that I have on my phone. There was lots of questions on my prior videos about WhatsApp and WhatsApp chats and messages and missed phone calls and just data on the phone and music and stuff like that. All that stuff should copy over to your new phone. And if it doesn't, you can always download all that from your iCloud like your music and stuff. My current phone right now has the SIM card in it and I'm just going to pop that SIM card out just to show you guys that it says no SIM card is installed. We can actually click OK to close out of that message. This phone and this phone, neither one have SIM cards in them right now. You can transfer your SIM card over to your new phone anytime that you want to. You can do it right now. You can do it when you're done doing the transfer. Just to show you guys, I don't need the SIM card in to do this transfer. Next thing you wanna do is go into your settings and make sure your Bluetooth is turned on on your old phone because it will transfer those settings over to your new phone. Go to software update and see what version of iOS you're running. Hopefully you're running iOS 12.4 or newer on your device. So if you're not, make sure you do all your updates on your device as well. All you need to do on your new phone is swipe up and you should get this pop-up over here on your old device. I'm gonna show you guys real quick what happens if you don't get that pop-up. If you, I'm gonna close out of it on purpose. And now I'm gonna go ahead and get back out of this one and swipe up. And if I don't get it, and that's what I wanted to show you guys, if I'm not getting it, close out of this phone, open this one back up and it should pop up, even from the lock screen. So what we wanna do is unlock to continue. I'm gonna do use passcode or face ID. Okay, so it's allowing me to move forward now. And it says, hold your new iPhone up to the camera. If you guys don't have a working camera, what you're gonna to have to do is click authenticate manually over here. Take your old iPhone and you're gonna position that over that squiggly looking thing until it captures it. All you need to do at this point is follow the prompts on your phone. Enter passcode of other phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now it says it may take a few minutes to activate. Now I'm just gonna answer the questions on my new device. So here at the transfer your data screen, it says time to transfer can take 30 to 40 minutes. And that's gonna change for all of you. It could take a couple of hours for some of you. But I'm gonna go ahead and select the one at the top to transfer everything. So I'm gonna choose agree. I'm gonna go ahead and use express settings. If I'm going to choose to set up later on, transferring data from Jamie's iPhone. It says keep your other iPhone nearby and connected to power until the transfer is complete. As soon as this is done, I'll show you what you need to do if you want to delete everything from this old phone. 
Okay, so now we're getting a transfer complete. I'm gonna go ahead and go out of that. I think this one here is rebooting at the moment. Yep, there it goes. So we're at the hello screen. It says here, restore complete apps and data will continue downloading in the background. We'll just go ahead and accept all the stuff here, terms and agreements. And I'll set the Apple Watch up later, do this stuff later. And welcome to iPhone. You can actually see that it's downloading everything right now. So the new phone already has the Wi-Fi turned on. It's already downloading apps. It's downloading stuff in the background. You can see that it even copied over the text message that I got. We'll take a quick look at the settings real quick. It looks to me like it has me already logged into iCloud, which is good. So it says here your Apple ID and phone number are now being used for iMessage and FaceTime on a new phone, which is perfectly fine. The pictures, videos, everything is still on this device. Your text messages, WhatsApp, things like that. If you want to delete everything off of this phone, what I would recommend you do is go into your iCloud account, and I would only do this if you know you have everything copied over to your new phone and you're happy. You would sign out of iCloud, so wherever that's at, right here. Choose sign out, and you would sign out of iCloud on your your old phone and then the other thing you could do is go to general go all the way to the bottom go to reset you can click erase all content and settings and that will actually get rid of all the data that we transferred from here over to that phone off of this phone only it will not delete it from the new phone there's my video there's my pictures yep everything copied over whatever you had in your iCloud account from this phone should download to the new phone still waiting on downloading a few of those okay so I just want to check the YouTube app real quick and see if I'm actually signed in. So no, it did not copy over those particular settings. So you may have to sign in to some of your individual apps. Some of these apps are going to realize that this is a new device. So it's going to want you to log in. Okay, I'm going to check WhatsApp. I did have to enter my number again and I got a pop up over here. But you can see I sent myself a little test message there. So it does copy over WhatsApp texts and stuff like that. And I checked my message messages were good. So are my missed phone calls. I'll check my eBay one. I'm going to have to log back in with my credentials. However, my data is going to be safe within the app. It retains that within the app. So if you have to log back into an app because you transferred to a new device, it is for security reasons. We can go ahead and now I can insert the SIM card. I'm just using a, a paper clip here. And if you press in real hard, it pops the tray open. You wanna face the contacts upwards like that. So the contacts of the SIM card are facing the screen. Try not to touch the contacts, but all you gotta do then is insert it into the phone. You may have to reboot your phone once you insert your SIM card. Now this will allow me to receive texts and phone calls from my carrier. You can see I am getting text messages. Now it says two, so everything is working good. That's pretty much all I got for you guys this time. I hope this video was a little more informative than my previous one, as I had to do a lot of talking, but I'm trying to answer a lot of questions that I received and comments from previous videos using a similar process. I hope you guys have a good one. Thanks a lot for watching. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button and share it, and I will see you all in the next one.